All right, so now let's look at the, the technology. Uh, I'll just put a nice pattern. So I have a remote where it's just going from pattern to pattern. I can just force a pattern like this one. Um, what I'll do is probably sit on the fireworks for now, and it's going to stay on it. It's not actually going to change. Then I can put the remote away. So actually, you know, first I can show that should go get yeah, dimmer, brighter. So right now, let's look at the amp. I'll show you all the crazy wiring that goes with it. That's why I'm carrying that. Uh, so right now I'm using about two amps. That's for front and back panels. It's actually quite a bit of power, right? I'll make it brighter. As I go brighter, I'm using now four or five amps. That's actually pushing the limit of some of the wires already. Um, six amps, yeah, that's actually quite bright. And obviously, if I have it that much power, it's not going to run all night. But it's not necessary, it's actually blinding at night. So it's, you know, brighter is not better in this case. But it's, it's capable of it. Maybe if I go during the daytime at some festival, uh, I might have it a bit brighter. So, um, we have different meters here. That's, uh, so that's first the uh, ESP8266, very small board. You can see uh, <laughs> two Cat5 cables coming out of them. Uh, one for the panel in the front and uh, one for the panel in the rear. They're currently showing the same thing. I could show different things, but I don't really see the point, actually. I'm quite happy having the same thing front and rear. Then there's a little the distribution uh, module to actually send the 1D patterns to the legs arms basically say show the same thing again. I could make them different but I didn't see the point. And now let's talk power. Uh, well that's a lot of neopixels, it's a lot of power. So that means big batteries. Uh, those are 5 amp hour each, they're together in parallels that give me 10 amp hours, uh, 16 volts. So it's about 160 watt hours. It's a, it's a third of the power. I'm not gonna lie, those are actually a little bit heavy. Um, and I need about that amount of power for 10 to 12, let's say 12 hours of runtime, which is enough for even Burning Man or EDC. Then I have a power distribution module, let me actually take that out here. So this is showing at 16 volts, I'm using 0.7x. That's a little meter I have sometimes to see how many watt hours I'm using. So it's actually uh, like a fuel gauge, just keeping track of how many electrons went through the wire. So I know exactly what's left in my light bulbs. All right, then it goes to this power module here. This one converts whatever the batteries are putting to five volts. And it's showing me those uh, two amps currently. Let me put another demo when I'm doing this. Something else that's interesting. How about this one for fun? Or how about, let's see. Oh uh, yeah, the rain is nice too. All right, so it's up in the five volts. Then the five volts, it's going directly to the panels because I, as you, you saw, it was already five amps. That's actually a fair amount of power. And then I also have the glasses. It comes with this own little controller module here that has to make high voltage. It's supposed to have two AA batteries, but I'm feeding it to five volts. I have a little crappy voltage regulator that's turning it down to three volts because that's what it uses. And then it goes back up to, uh, I think it's 200 volts or something pretty high. So basically I have my three, actually four meters. I have that last one here that's showing me the different cells on the LiPo. Right now it's at three points. Uh, 8 volts per cell, that's showing that my light bulbs are not fully charged. And if it's going too low, it will beep, so it will let me disconnect the light bulbs so I don't damage them. And I think that's about it. Put those away. That's what it looks like. Thank you.